we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter. UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bo Hashinha, but man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Yoel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC gold. Tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paulo the Eraser Costa! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, do it by your see how this plays out. Big leg kick land. Nice one, two there. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. If you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, all right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him to hurt very fast. Whoa! Oh, nice jab. the 
strike. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a hot ball. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Missed with that right hand. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. It won't take many of those. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So 31 total strikes and now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. This to change the fight with another takedown win. Gets up again here, but Hurton stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Missed with that attempt. Takedown defense holds up. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this only exhausts you because every moment you try to throw to knock the corner out, but you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> Two minutes remain in the round. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Costa gets back up again. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over to secure these takedowns. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, right in the mouth. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that... Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Cut gets any worse, the doctor's gonna have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready? Ready? Here we are, early round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Costa. Right punches there. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, 
Strike on the ground. Back to the feet. This fight's gonna go fast. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet now. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Good stick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I mean, oh! He's good. him up. Go get him. Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, stack guard here. The feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do on the bottom, what a sweep. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 59 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout.